think someone was legit trying to shoot at oh my gosh bro i hate this guy back off bro all right there's one we picked one up right there in a little straggler dude what the what the heck he's coming out he's coming out got him there you go spy plane let's go Okay, seven streak. Yeah, push me, push me. Oh my gosh. Get off me. So the M16 is notoriously known as one of the most overpowered guns in the game right now. I also have this gun gold, so I know this gun from top to bottom pretty much. So for my first attachment, I'm running with the Vision Tech times 2 Now this is very helpful, especially on long range maps. This is a tactical rifle. It's not really meant to be rushing, by the way. You want to keep your distance between yourself and the opponent as large as possible. And this gun will definitely dominate from those ranges. So remember not to rush too hard. You can switch out that attachment for the millstock reflex if you want to play a little bit closer. But keep in mind, it's going to be a lot harder to get a better accuracy on your enemies from long range if you're going to go with the millstop reflex route you have to really play up close and personal to get a better accuracy shot so for the muzzle we are using the silencer this is basically going to keep us off the minimap whenever we do fire our weapon so that we can stay as stealthy as possible and as you can see here there is a con of bullet velocity of 50 percent but there's no worries there we do have other attachments that will mitigate those negatives and for the barrel we're running with the 20.5 inch task force barrel this gives us damage effective damage range as well as that extra percentage in bullet velocity so on burst rifles you don't really have to worry too much about that recoil control i mean you could if you want to for a more accurate shot personally if you're going to use attack rifle you know it's really not that needed all right so for the next attachment we're running with a salvo 54 round fast mag so i like this attachment because it gives us so many pros of magazine ammo capacity reload quickness max starting ammo and ammo capacity so this is going to be especially helpful when you're going up against multiple enemies at a time and you want to farm a lot of kills and also at the same time you don't have to worry about reloading too much and in the event that you need to reload you will be able to reload your weapon a lot faster and that aim down sight speed con of 25 percent not really too worried about that like i said you're supposed to be playing this at a distance so aim down sight speed is not really that important on attack rifle so for the last attachment we're using the raider pad for this one we get sprint to fire time as well as aim walking movement speed the aim walking movement speed is very important especially on a rifle like the m16 because how you want to use this weapon is when you're adsing and you're strafing left and right in a gunfight you are going to be using this at range anyway and if people are going to shoot you you can just strafe left and right to avoid those bullets for my secondary i'm just running with the gallo s812 this is for those close quarter combat situations for the tactical i'm running with the stim shot to heal faster lethal is going to be that semtex and the field upgrade is going to be that proximity mine to just throw it right behind you to be able to watch your back you know while you're holding down an area if it pops off and you don't get a kill that's when you need to know that you need to turn your attention in that direction all right so for the perks you know this is optional like i said i do have a second class set up for you guys to choose from so i'm using the perk greed wild card you definitely do want to stack on those perks to be able to be more unstoppable in games we've got on the flak jacket and the tack mask and for a perk two tier we're running with scavenger and tracker now tracker is optional you can run anything else that you want to here and for the perk three tier i am using ghost and ninja dude this is such a lifesaver if you're trying to stay as stealthy as possible using ghost and ninja is going to save you a lot of deaths all right so moving on to my alternate class setup which is what i do feature in this video we are using the vision tech times two again and then for the muzzle it's also the silencer for the barrel we're using the task force 20.5 inch barrel body is going to be the steady aim laser just in case for hip fire and for under barrel we're using the infiltrator grip so this one gives us movement speed shooting move speed and aim walking movement speed and for magazine we've also got the salvo 54 round magazine and for the handle we're using the sasr jungle grip this one gives us aim down sight time as well as that flinch resistance and then for the stock we are running again with the raider pad so this one has a lot faster movement as far as ads and sprint out time goes so that's why i am offering this alternate class up and like i said again depending on what kind of map you're on you can either change this vision tech out for the mill stop reflex depending on how large or small the map is if you came here just for the class setup consider leaving a like on this video so that i know this is the kind of content that you want to continue to see and make sure to subscribe if you are brand new around here so you can make your way back to more call of duty content so in the next portion of the video i'm just going to feature a live gameplay showcasing the class setup and how i personally use it maybe you can pick up a thing or two by watching my gameplay so hopefully you guys do enjoy and let's get on with the gameplay <laughs> We're going to try to establish power positions as fast as we possibly can. Hello? 
easy. Okay. Got right behind me. Got him. Okay, we gotta heal up ASAP. He's coming. Here they come, here they come. They're coming. I'm gonna try to hold the line as much as I possibly can. All right, we gotta back up, we gotta back up, we gotta back up. 100% backing up. Good kill. Uh, easy. All right, spawns have flipped. M16 is just way too nasty up close, but even though it's not recommended to use it up close, it's still great. Yup, here they come. It's a man. You gotta play nice and slow. Okay. Got him. Push into their spawn, hold them from coming back in. Oh boy! Put that there. That didn't get the guy? Okay, let's go ahead and try to uh, hold down this power position right here. This is another great spot. Someone right below me. Okay. Gotta be extremely accurate with this thing. Let's watch our backs. Okay. Got that spy plane on deck. Someone's gonna be around this uh, boxes right here. There he is. Someone right behind me as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch my back now. Here he comes. He's gonna be around this corner. Boom. If you're running around like an idiot, you will never stay on a streak. Guy nearly killed me. I'm not gonna challenge that guy right now. He just died. There you go. We're on to 10. Oh, someone's got a suppressor. I gotta watch my back. Tag disappeared. Oh my gosh! He was literally one HP! That is just heartbreaking. Okay, well, we're really close to the gunship anyway. There you go. Should be getting that very soon. Heal up. Just holding down this area. Oh my gosh. I got so confused with those sentries. Uh, that's not a too bad of a match. 28 and 7. Someone behind me? Dude. Footsteps are so easily heard in this game. Let's go, baby. Alright, so the spawns flip. I'm actually gonna go back the other way. Try to keep my distance as much as possible while getting a good angle on the enemies. Alright, there's one. We picked one up right there. One Enemy little straggler. Dude, what the? What the heck? He's coming out. He's coming out. Got him. We're on a six streak right now. Alright, let's push back in. I think that guy had ghost. That's why it's very important to be aware of your surroundings. I think someone was legit trying to shoot at- Oh my gosh! Bro, I hate this guy. Back off, bro. No, I'm dead. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Whoa! Behind us. Check mid. Nothing here. Nothing behind us. Okay. Alright, here we go. Easy claps. Back on a four streak. So this is where they usually spawn in from. So that's why I'm from the outside looking in. There you go. There's one guy right there. I'm going to push this right away though. I don't want to get caught from behind. Spy plane. We're going to need that. Oh my God. Still don't see anybody. Bro, you cannot see a dang thing behind those bushes. Yeah, we got body armor. I believe they're probably over here inside this little hangar. There you go. Spy plane. Let's go. Okay. Seven streak. Yeah, push me. Push me. Oh my gosh. Get off me. 
All right, well, I mean, uh, that wasn't the best gameplay. We were so close to the chopper gunner, man. We are going to get that gunship. All right, cool. We got the best play of the game. I'm down with that. This was a pretty awesome part right here. You got to admit. What? That is so weird. Why does it show that I have Ghost, Ninja, and Tomahawk? I wasn't even running those. Matter of fact, any of those perks, I wasn't running those perks. That's kind of weird. Must be a glitch, man. It's got to be.